so students in the next part of our chapter land soil water and vegetations and wildlife in the last part we were doing the natural vegetation and wildlife so let's continue that topic the chapter which is the last topic of the chapter we already done the importance factors distributions types of forest and etc so now the other topics which are left are the use of forest the countries scandinavian nations norway sweden finland and the north american country canada exports several forest productions in the scandinavian nation that is the norway sweden finland a very good quality of wood is found which are basically used in the aviation field India and the monsoon countries that is the South Asia, Southeast Asia and East Asia. There are twenty three nations in it. Here also trees like rosewood, sandalwood, teak, mahogany, etc. are used for economic purpose in large scales the conservation of forest afforestation conservation of forest as i already told you that the topic conservation will come after every topic so here also how can we conserve forest obviously by ever afforestation means by planting more and more trees we have to check on the urban growth if the urban areas are growing means they are taking much more land maybe a land of agriculture area or a forest area but if agriculture if they take agriculture land area then agriculture start cutting forest areas and increasing their land areas so for that we have continuously watch on the growth of urban areas control grazing before becoming a tree a tree was a plant a small plant but these plants were eaten by many animals cattle etc while grazing in the pasture lands and the forest areas and because of this they destroyed the plants before they become a forest or a big tree so we have to control grazing also because it also responsible for the destruction of the forest creating awareness in this field by creating awareness already we make we introduced these types of topics in our school syllabus college syllabus and we can create awareness through doordarshans all india radios and other sources it also help to conserve the forest preventing from forest fire forest fire are, are of two types natural or man made because of high temperature forest caught in fire sometimes man is also responsible for it when they left camp fire or because of the smoking of fire stick also forests catch fire this is how we can conserve forest conservation of flora and fauna and its importance not only the not only to conserve forest we have to conserve the other species like animal species which are also important for us so how to conserve these all species that is true and also their importance if we see the important then already we discussed that shelters to many species we also control 
on human interference it is good for us if we divide species like we already divided species in vulnerable and endangered extinct species rare species etc this help us to plan for their growth in their population there is a threat of extinctions of because of deforestation soil erosion construction etc so we have to continue watch on this control on poaching illegal trade etc for hide skins nails teeth horns feather starts many projects already we started many projects like tiger projects and continue it by passing laws by making national parks and wildlife sanctuaries we already made CITES sites which means the convention international trade in endangered species of wildlife flora and fauna and they are doing a lot of work in wwf that is the world wild fund which is helping to promote wildlife in the year 1969 it was established in india So this is how we can conserve flora and fauna by all these methods. Thank you. Any kind of problem, doubts, you can contact me or you can visit my blog also.